Hey, hey, what's up guys? Mike Gross here at rockandguitarlessons.com. You're on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash rockandguitarlessons1. And uh, I'm doing a bunch of lessons on some shredding riffs for you guys. I'm trying to cover a broad era, or a broad uh, area in there. And um, this one, kind of a Nuno Bittencourt, Eddie Van Halen style thing. I love this. I remember back in the day I ordered these, I think it was Starlix was what it was called. Probably in 83 or something like that. And it was the Scorpions, and all their solos broken down. And there's lots of them. This is taken out of the pentatonic minor. This is an E minor riff here. And um, there's lots of different ways it's played. It's been played, you know. You know, there's different ways to do it. This way, it's, I don't want to call it a cheat, because it's part of the technique and feel, but Eddie Van Halen did a lot, just flying on it, and Nuno Bittencourt, like I said, and I love it. It's very cool, and it, it, although it's short, not a lot of notes in it. I think there's four notes. Yeah, that's it. There's four notes in there. Um, but there's something tricky I'm doing in here. And what I want you to see is... What I'm doing is starting with an upstroke with my pick, first of all. 12th fret on the high E, what I want you to do is bar it, the last two strings like that, the high E and the B is going to be barred, and do an upstroke on the high E. So it's up, and then hammer onto the next string on the 15th fret, the B, and then pull off to 12. It's going to feel weird because usually when you hammer on, you're doing a note on the same string to get to it. This one is out of nowhere. You're just hammering it. Um, so here's what I mean. I didn't pick that 15. Upstroke, and then I'm pulling off to 12, which we have covered with the bar, right? So, and then I'm doing a downstroke on 15 on the G. And I'm just repeating that. So it's uh. So, anyways, I hope you guys like that. Work on it slow. You can move it up and down the neck, you know. Uh, I, I think I remember hearing a bootleg solo of Eddie Van Halen back in the day, and he did. He started slow and just kept moving it up and going faster. You know, all the way up the neck. So it's a fun riff. I think so. I dig it. Um, so thanks, guys. For tuning in if you're not subscribed to my channel i hope you go do that right now i've got a bunch more shred riffs coming and a lot of other stuff back in the files for you to check out um, all the pentatonic minors the pentatonic major scales um, some real detailed chord lessons to help you these are a little more advanced these ones here but if you like lead playing and solos and all the shred stuff you're right where you need to be man um, if you have questions leave them on the comment section of this video lesson down there at the bottom and I will help you. I'll personally like get on there the same day usually and answer your questions and um, take some requests sometimes. Right now I probably won't be doing requests, but if you want to put some in, go for it. Um, they got some people that want some Anthrax and Corn and stuff and uh, who's the other band? Slipknot. So I'll do more music, you know, actual song lessons too, but right now we're just going to shred it for a while. And that one that I showed you is from the E minor pentatonic using the six note pentatonic. Because penta means five, but you have a six note as well, and this is one of those. Um, I guess that's it. Go subscribe. This is Mike Gross at youtube.com slash rockandguitarlessons1. And watch my website in June of 2012, rockandguitarlessons.com. Talk to you soon, guys.